is this thing on and oh hello uh welcome to my book review yes indeed the book i shall be reviewing is called uh, the greatest zombie movie ever awesome this book is great this book is a satire fiction zombie novel that was published in 2016. The book is about three high school kids trying to make the best zombie movie ever, but they don't because they make trash. The wacky and quirky and relatable main characters are of the story are Justin, the director slash simp that has a crush on a mentally unstable girl that is only described as beautiful and nothing else. Gabe, the only reasonable one who gets chucked around like leftovers. Bobby, who rivals my own intelligence with dumbness. Alyssa, who's gonna be a perfect star in the future because she's already mentally insane. And Chris, who's basically who we all wish we could be. And there are other characters in the story, but <laughs> they don't matter. Here's a quick summary of what happens. Justin and his filmmaking buddies are trying to make the best zombie movie ever. Problem is, they barely have a script, barely any money, and, and the increasing pressure of the school academic system of test. I'm looking at you. Stop it. Don't do the EOCs. Stop it. Now let's start with the positives of this book. Uh, and what I liked about it. The book really capitalizes on the idea of being a teenager, I feel like. Most books or media either present the, as a stereotype of some sort, like kids being lazy or school being over the top stressful. But in this book, I, it never really straight out calls this. It's actually pretty, pretty good. Or like the way it, it's introduced and stuff. And the way it does that is it just ignores it and just focuses on the story, which could be seen as lazy, but at the same time, it's it's better than anything. I would rather not spend most of my time uh, wasting around about school pettiness of whether or not they pissed all over the floor in the bathroom. I know that's weird, but we're going with it. Okay, now that's out of the way. Time to complain a bunch because I have a bunch of complaints about this thing. Oh my gosh, the conclusions that go nowhere. This book was all over the place. Whether it be from a casual reader to a young fetus, it was confusing. Oh my gosh. One moment they're shooting green screen and the next they're getting hit by Hyundai Civics. Don't know why, but they are. And the transitions are just so lifeless, which is ironic because it's a book about zombies, which is also ironic because it isn't a book about zombies. So what is it about? Uh, uh, line? Building up conclusions that go nowhere. Whenever this book tries to be grand or anything, it ends up being a cluster pretzel of salt and unforgivable conceivable pain <laughs> of unwrittenness. Now, as much as I would love to talk more about why I hate my life and everything around it, but because we're running out of time right now and very shortly, uh, we're gonna speed it up with some like quick, like one liners of what it is. So here it is. One, comedy in this book is the equivalent of passing out in a subway. Two, too many zombie references. Three, every adult is looks like this guy and acts like it. Four, character arcs that have no arc which is very important for making a character. And a skyscraper, apparently. What the hell were you thinking? Five, he's not Jeff Garland. Disappoints me as well. Six, so what did you learn? Nothing from me. In conclusion, this book is above 200 words. Shaun of the Dead is a fantastic movie. I'm tired and I was supposed to return this book like four weeks ago. All right, bye. Read more, kids.